Hello and welcome to Innovative India's hand-picked list of top reviews this week. Scientists think that Earth and Mars were habitable about the same time. They also think that, billions of years ago, both Earth and Mars had liquid water on their surface. At that time, Mars may have been even more habitable than Earth. But, about 4 billion years ago, the water in Mars's polar ice caps froze, and the water level dropped. This has caused a dramatic change in the climate of Mars. However, life might be possible on Mars in these six ways. But before we move, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon to stay on top of all the latest updates. Number 1. Life was never found on Mars. Mars' atmosphere was stripped away by the Sun 3 billion years ago, causing the planet's surface to become dry and creating today's Martian appearance. This would be the most conservative position, and it would require at least one inorganic or contamination-related resolution for all three purportedly positive tests. The default assumption, however, is that this is indeed possible. The leading hypothesis is that Mars is devoid of life. However, there will be some convincing evidence that either there is life on Mars today, or that it has existed in the past. Number 2. Early on, Mars was alive, but it died. It is possible to live. Even though the Earth formed more than a billion years ago, it only took a few hundred million years for life to evolve on the planet. Martian life could have been extinguished if its atmosphere was lost, just as the loss of life on Earth was. It may be possible to validate this scenario by drilling down into the sedimentary rock of Mars and searching for fossils or metamorphosed carbon inclusions. Number 3. Under the surface of Mars, it still remains in a mostly dormant state. A more optimistic view of life on Mars is presented here, which is scientifically valid at the same time. Life may have been present early on Mars, and a few extremophiles remained frozen and suspended in time when Mars lost its atmosphere. Biological life wakes up and can begin to perform its critical functions when the right conditions appear, perhaps underground, where liquid water flows occasionally. If this holds true, then we may still find organisms beneath the Martian surface, perhaps in the shallow sands just a few feet or just a few inches below the surface of our spacecraft. Number 4. There was no life on Mars until Earth seeded it. The fifth great mass extinction of Earth's history took place 65 million years ago, when a body impacting Earth made Chicxulub Crater, kicking up enough debris to damage the surface of the planet and create Chicxulub Crater. It's likely that, just as with impactors on the Moon or Mars, small pieces of Earth were scattered into space, where some of them finally landed on Earth as meteorites. Interestingly, a few impacts probably also affect other worlds like Mars, they might send Earth-born material there. The Earth's crust is among Earth's richest sources of organic life, so it seems unreasonable that organic material would not reach Mars. Number 5. Earth-based life has spread to Mars because of our modern space program. The onset of the space age might have allowed Mars to become a desert planet, for billions of years at least. The chance is that stowaway organisms from Earth fell on the Martian surface when spaceborne materials weren't completely decontaminated or sterilized. Astrophysicists fear we will contaminate another world before even learning its true existence has taken place, but it is the astrobiologist's worst nightmare. A worst-case scenario would be that Earth life arrived on Mars and outcompeted simple life from Mars, driving it to extinction immediately. Number 6. Mars may have been home to microbial life at one time. It may well be that life evolved on Mars before it established itself on Earth, if ancient microbes were found there. Mars' habitability window may have opened up some time ago, according to researchers. In contrast, the dates of the first signs of life on Earth may be comparable. The Curiosity team drew their conclusions from the material collected by the rover from the interior of a Martian rock. On Mars, Curiosity drilled 2.5 inches into John Klein, the deepest ever made by a robotic vehicle. Curiosity's analysis suggests the John Klein region was once a neutral pH aqueous environment. As a result, the rover's instruments detected several chemicals needed for life as we know it, including sulfur, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and carbon. In the unlikely event that the future Mars mission discovers conclusive evidence of life, these are the kinds of questions scientists and laypeople will alike ask. In the meantime, Curiosity will continue cruising through Gale Crater and help scientists further understand the Red Planet and its history. To check out the entire list, log on to our website, www.askinnovativeindia.com, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay on top of all the latest updates on tech, AI and much more.